What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'm gonna keep doing. I'm gonna keep doing these Innistrad Supreme drafts as long as I'm enjoying them, because I think that's one of the most important parts of streaming Magic: The Gathering. When you're streaming Magic: The Gathering, one of the most important things you could do is literally enjoy it. Because if you don't, it's a little rough. It's a little rough. Um, that being the case, Witchbane Orb is not the greatest rare. Uh, Ghoul Razor is pretty sweet. Monk, it's a pseudo elf. Come on, you know you wanna. Um, maybe. There's not much that goes. It's actually, Chapel Geist. We can go Chapel Geist and Avacyn's Pilgrim. I mean, Badger. It's really hard to turn down Badger when he makes suggestions because, like, uh, you know what, Badger, for you, buddy. This is for you, my dude. That's why I work the fish mines. I enjoy it. Oh, I like Somberwald Stag. Just being able to fight a dude when it comes into play. That seems very, very good. Identity Theft? No, Thief. Whenever Identity Thief attacks, you may exile another non-token creature. What? You may exile another non-token. That seems good. Oh, return it to the battlefield under its control. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> you gotta finish reading the card. Otherwise, it's like... What? That's terrible. Alright, we're gonna take the Stag here. Uh, I also kind of like Primal Druid because if we do end up setting up for, like, Eldrazi, it's very good. How many Eldrazi packs do we have? Are there Eldrazi? There's got to be Eldrazi and Eldritch Moon, right? It's not just... Actually, actually, they're only in Eldritch Moon, right? So we have one, two, three, four. They're not in... I don't think they're in Shadows over in Estrad. Hmm. Nevertheless, it's still probably the best card for us. And uh, if it dies, we get a land, so so be it. Ooh, Lingering Souls. That's juicy. Hmm. Non-human werewolves you control can't transform. It literally prevents them from transforming back, which is pretty sweet. So this is a 3-2. It turns into a 5-4. And when it flips, you get to destroy an artifact, and you get to deal 3. So basically it has Smash to Smithereens. I think it's Avacyn's Collar and Lingering Souls here, to be honest. That seems good. Like, this is human-human already, so that's pretty decent. Hmm. Scorned Villager seems good. I mean, better than anything else in this pack, really. This pack is not super exciting. Um, Gavany Iron Rite is fine. It's just not exciting unless you have Fateful Hour, but I really don't even want to have that, so. Um. Hmm. I mean, it might just be Dawn Shredder Elk. Let's just take the Elk. Because I feel like if we are playing Lingering Souls, we might be splashing for a black. Wow, Blasphemous Act. That's pretty wild. I think Lumbernaut's great. I also think Rebuke is very, very good in this format. Like, being able to kill anything is pretty nice. I'm just going to take the Re Rebuke. Rebuck. Mm, four or five. I'm going to take Fiend Hunter and we'll take Traveler's Amulet. Again, Traveler's Amulet helps us fix for the Lingering Souls and it lets us play any of the black cards we'd be interested in splashing the only, the only other option really is hollow hinge scavenger so we're gonna fiend hunter it's also a human so we can put the collar on it huh well, that's interesting hmm choose two creatures and so next turn whenever either of those deals combat damage you draw a card you can choose their creatures as well if you guys remember Tap up to two non nine permanents. I think it's. I think we're just taking Tamio and splashing for both of these colors now. That's a planeswalker. Come on, choking restraint. Restraint. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, tap all creatures your opponent controls. Sub this this makes very good. Subjugator Archangel is fine. Hamlet and Captain is fine. Shrill Howler and choking restraints are all pretty good for us. Ugh. We already have Rebuke and Fiend Hunter so far, and Somberwald Stag to a lesser extent. I almost kind of want the Angel because I think four power flyers are just good. 
And it also gives you like this really good haymaker effect. Morn Willow, 3-2 haste for 3. When it enters the battlefield, if there are 4 more cards, creatures of power 2 or less can't block this turn. Yeah, I don't care about that. Waxing Moon, transform up to 1 werewolf, and creatures you control gain trample. That is an instant. Can transform our scorned villager. That's it. Pack is not impressive. Um, Spectral Reserves just make two one ones and gain two. Totally meh. Ugh, so bad. And I think Midnight Scavenger is actually fine for us. And I'll just take the, this guy. I don't know. This guy's not great. <laughs> I think Predators is good, but the fact that we're splashing means I do not want. A triple green card here. I do think Gather is pretty good for us. Especially with Avacyn's Collar. Yeah, Face Shield is actually fine. I mean, if you have Fate Flower, it's another, like, deal of Oh, Increasing Devotion seems great. That seems fantastic. Plus, you could also take Lamb Holtelder, which I am a fan of. I think this... Oh, actually, Vault of the Archangel seems fantastic, doesn't it? Like, it's almost kind of unbeatable, right? Let's take Vault. Oh, boy. Yeah, this pack's kind of meh. Remember Steadfast Cathar attacks? It could plus O, plus 2 until end of turn. Exciting. I want to take Prowler. I think Prowler is fine. Boon of Emrakul seems good too, especially for... Oh, wow, another Slayer's Plate? Holy smokes, especially with the number of humans we have in our deck. That's really good. So is Bound by Moonsilver. I guess we're just taking infinite three drops in this pack. Wow, that's wild. Sanctifier of Souls. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Sanctify our Souls gets plus one, plus one, plus one for turn. Exile a creature from your graveyard, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit. It's actually pretty good. And it's a human. Murder is pretty good, but it's double black. <laughs> um... It might just be Sanctifier. <laughs> I mean, being able to be able to turn your creatures into like one-on-one flyers is pretty good. I think it's Lone Rider. I don't know how how likely are we to flip our Lone Rider here. We don't have any life gain, really, unfortunately. <laughs> Spectral reserves. So if we attack once with this, and then we get to. So if we actually attack with this, get through, and then have four mana to play Spectral Reserves, we can do it. That's pretty good, right? I'm just going to take the murder for the hell of it. Just making sure I'm not missing any, like... Yeah, that's fine. Reaper from the Abysses. Bananas. Wow, that's really good. It's a 6-6 six, six flyer for 6. At the beginning of each end tip, if a creature died, destroy another creature. You get to choose. I mean, I'm okay with passing it. Be oh, God, this is sad because I really wanted I wanted Gatstaff Shepherd, Galvanic Blast, or Galvanic Juggernaut, and Avacyn Increase. That's really annoying. Well, guess I get a free draft out of it. Cool. League fifty four ninety match. We'll say match later. Time twelve. 39 MDT, 10, 27, 20. And for my own reference, we are about 9 minutes 42 video. Sure, cool. 
That's annoying. Triple black card. Cool. Well, definitely taking Shepard. I think Shepard's very, very good. And I actually forgot we only got one, so I was like, oh, okay. I guess I don't get the other one. Hmm. Yeah. That's sad. I'm taking Lamholt Elder here. Maybe I have a Avacyn. Avacyn Scott. We'll take Keswick Recluse here. I don't think I want two Avacyn's Collars, especially when we also have Slayer's Plate. <gasps> Triska Decophobia. I'll never forget me and Pete Hines from Bethesda were at PAX one year. I think this was 2017, and we did a we did a uh, Shadows Over Innistrad draft. And I was tempted to take something in a pack, but he was like, just take the Tr Triskaidekaphobia, you're not the Pro Tour. And so I took Triskaidekaphobia, and I got him to sign it after I like went 3-0 in the draft with it. Very tempted to play this card. Because of you, I've been obsessed with Among Us. That's awesome. <laughs> My bad. I'm going to take Triskaidekaphobia here. For Pete Hines, my man. And probably Tooth Collector. What the hell? Man, if only this was on color. What does Hermit do? Whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn, draw a card. Sure. Two, three, four, three. That's great. Three, five. Yeah, this guy's great. We're definitely taking this. That's a pretty easy pick. And probably Rabbit Bite. That seems good. Oh, Army of the Damned. That's exciting. I mean, not a yeah, Slayer of the Wicked is fantastic in this format. Good gravy. Yeah, we're definitely taking that guy. We have a lot of cuts to make. Spectre Reserve is trash. Um, I don't even like Chapel Geist that much. Double White is stupid. You're stupid, Double White. I don't care about Prowler. It's not even a human. I might just take army, and if we go like heavier black, then we get Reaper and the other thing. I'll just take army, sure. Like, then we get murder, Reaper, and army. It's pretty good if we just go much heavier black. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think I'll feed shield, I don't care about it. I mean, plus we also have like Scorned Vidalger, Dawn Trader Elk, and Avacyn's Pilgrim to like make sure we hit eight. Also, Primal Druid. Interesting. Hmm. Hey, look, the Sanctifier has art. Okay, we're not going to play Triskaidekaphobia, let's be real. This deck actually looks very good like this. It might look better if we had Reaper and Army, but Triple Black, Triple Black is pretty rough. You could probably cut one of these two drops, right? It might just be Primal Druid. But Primal Druid is very good with Slayer's Plate and Avacyn's Collar, and it just fixes our mana when we already have a Blue Splash and a Black Splash. So this is going to be 7 7 one, one, one. I think that's actually fine. We have two cards that need Black, one card that needs Blue. And we have like this, and Avacyn's Pilgrim helps with the white. Okay, we have Dawn Shepherd, Primal Druid. What about a backsplash? You gotta have a nice backsplash. I just need one cut, and I feel like it's gonna be here. Hermit seems great. Lambholt Elder seems great. Actually, maybe it's Lambholt Elder. We also have. We have 13 creatures, we all have, so we have Lingering Souls, Gather, and Increasing Devotion, keep in mind, which is like 16 creatures, essentially. This deck seems sweet. I could also take Fiend Hunter out. I don't think I care about Fiend Hunter, to, to be honest. Like, our removal is actually not terrible. We have Fight Guy, Slayer, Boon, Rebuke, 
Earthbound Rabbit Bite. It's not bad. I need to install some nuggets into my face. Jesus. God, it sounds really aggressive when you say it like that. But the double white is like kind of obnoxious, you know what I mean? Because I mean like nothing else is double white and like... I think I'm going to cook Fiend Hunter. I think this deck looks sweet. And uh, we're going to find out how sweet it is. Like I said, let's see if our deck does anything. We got a Tamio in here. Also, Lumbernaut with all of these token creatures is insane. We have Increasing Devotion, we have Lingering Souls, Gather the Townsfolk. Also, Vault of the Archangel, dude. That card's bananas. Any day now. We're just playing MTG while waiting for our Stream Raider battle. Where's the lie? This hand seems freaking great. Oh, that guy seems problematic. <laughs> Welp. One fifty two, twelve fifty two here. So close. I assume you're in central. Oh, inexorable blob. Nothing moves the blob. Do you guys remember that from the old X Men cartoon? Not cartoon, that was actually from the video game. Oh yeah, I'm really actually I was looking forward to playing that deck with you. Man, two Delirium cards. Nothing in your graveyard. Oh boy. So he's turning a 3 3. You're a 3 5. It's not bad. But I'm pretty sure I just want to actually Dawn Treader. I don't really want you to investigate, though, I'll be honest. I don't think this guy's worth trading here, but we'll see what happens. What? Uh Huh Uh I'm really confused That does not seem like a good deal I don't take six though Whatever I'll block here Wow, they traded their Gnarl with Dryad for a Gather the Towns? That's really weird. Sure. That's pretty good. Um... No, we're not in the aggressor seat. Like, I'd rather just be able to block Bone Flinger. They're going to crack this clue 100%. Oh, sure. You know what? Deal. If you got a trick, I get to draw a card. No, it's not during my turn. Mm. Yep, that's a real fucking good one. To get the block here, we take five. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, I have not been with Channel Fireball for like two years. I work for Cool Stuff Inc. now.
Yep, that's fine. I'm going to go to the next. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> we put this on here. We equip here and they still kill us. Okay. Well, we tried. It's really weird. I thought we had a very good chance there, but unfortunately, I think Fiend Hunter might be better than Gatstaff Shepherd. Like, the Intimidate's not very good when they have a green deck, so. Yeah, again, like, having multiple two drops in the land to cast them is pretty decent. Oh, don't play anything. God, they always do. Um... It's actually not bad. All right, so we can go Pilgrim into... Oh, we can go Pilgrim into Plate. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good dude. One, two... Oh, we got a tomato now? Kill that thing. Uh, yeah, you know, I think I will use that ability. That's super cool. My five drop killed your four drop. You didn't even do anything. Okay, you get to kill my. Yeah, that's fine. So if we do this, we're not actually playing anything, which means this guy will flip. So I think we're just going to put it on you. One, two, three. And I assume they're not taking eight here. Oh, they are. Kerwood, have a good night, buddy. Sure. These are both humans. We can plate them up and get spirits out of them. Sounds good. Okay, you got it. Six mana for that? Yeah, man, I'll take two. You got it. One, two, three. Equip you. Donny boy. Six, yeah. Joke's on you, man. My deck goes wide. Yeah, I'll take two again. Thankfully, there's no Bloodthirst. There's no Ninjutsu. It's just Eldrazi, I guess. Yeah, I don't care about that. I just fought my elk. Weird.
jump block. Okay. I have one card in hand. <sighs> Lots of humans. Plenty of humans. Humans for me. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Every game, dude. Sure. Guess I just didn't think that was your last card. But it always is. Well, I have no cards in hand, and they're very not close to Delirium, so... See, actually, if we move this, this guy dies, unfortunately. It might be worth losing it, though. Like, I don't want to really trade with the other dudes, so... She becomes a 5-4, which lets us block here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll lose a human. I mean, we still have it in the graveyard, four, five, six. Yeah, we need three lands, though. That's a good amount. Yep. Seems good. Four and four is eight. They have one card. And this is a what? So they block. I mean, if I'm going to trade anyway, I might as well trade up, right? So I might as well trade with this guy. So four, they block four, they take uh, five, six, seven, eight. They go to one. Yeah. It is what it is. If we can get a removal spell that's cheap, that's pretty good. <laughs> hey, we did it. We're good at this game. Rabid Bite. Chomp it up. Oh, they just conceded. Sounds good. All right. Uh, I used to play Paper Magic, yeah. For sure. Um, Not so much currently. Slayer of the Wicked? You've got werewolves, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Man, like, I just don't know how they deal with, like, Reaper. <laughs> Murder's good. Tooth Collector is good. Let's take the Tamio out. Add another black. Take out Fiend Hunter. Bring in. Eh, actually, Fiend Hunter's good. Um, I God, I really want Reaper. <laughs> I think Reaper's real good. I think Tooth Collector's just very good. Is it 2-3 or 3-2? Is it 3-2, right? Yeah, because he's pulling them teeth. Um, Innistrad is a messed up place. Nah, you ain't kidding, buddy. I think this is fine. Yeah, alright. Yep, that's terrible. Okay. Yep, keep this. Let's put back... I mean... It's probably elk. Yeah, let's put back the elk. Actually, it might be the collar. Let's put back the collar.
So we're actually just going to go Elk into Lingering Souls into turn four, Crack Amulet, play a thing. Yeah, that seems good. Yep, two, three. That does... Crack Amulet. <laughs> oh, no, Crack Amulets haven't... haven't uh haven't been illegal for some time let me guess briar pack alpha three games in a row no an elven walled captive okay sure do 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 one two three four this guy costs seven to flip, so they can just play a land and flip this guy? No. One, two, three, four, five. They're quite a bit of ways from both of these guys. So we're just going to play Hermit here. Oh, what up, an anonymous cheer? Yeah, alright, I'll take two. <laughs> sure. That's weird. I feel like we're in good shape here. They have two cards. This guy. And villager. If they want to spend their turn flipping this, I think that's fine. 4-6 isn't super concerning when we have four spirits. Plus it lets our it lets our guys flip, so. Yep, take two. Well, they have two lands. That's pretty funny. Lands are usually the odd card when you're trying to hit Delirium. Oh, wow. That seems good. Ooh, fascinating. So they can go block and flip. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do, 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 three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Rock and roll ain't noise pollution. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely flipping it, but that makes it just like a one, a one three. Oh, a seven three. That's much bigger. But it also means they have to deal with it right now, so. <sighs> Millicard. Sounds good. Olvenwald. Obsess. Observer. Worker Jingle, toughness for great eyes, draw a card. Okay. I thought this was neg three, neg three. It's plus three, negative three. That's worth keeping in mind. Okay. That, this when does this flip at the at your end step? Sure. Oh, tooth collector just just wrecks that dude. We have forty seven dudes on the board and ten minutes left for you stream raiders. Yeah, I'm like, there's no way they can attack here, right? So let's go block here, block here. Doesn't feel good. I'm just gonna attack for four in the air and put them on two. I mean, I have to deal with three spirits or kill us this turn. I don't think either one is very likely. Yep. Still three cards. Still three cards. Okay, that's a thing, I guess. 
I can hear my like computer rev up when they concede because for some reason Magic Online does a weird thing whenever uh, a concession takes place. That was quick. Constant noose, I wonder if it's saying. Constant nose. Our deck seems sweet. This hand seems great. They mulligan to six, but then they kept that six. Calculating machine go brr. <laughs> Alright. I mean, we don't have to crack this, so like if we draw a white, we can easily crack it for blue or black, which is super nice. Man, my kingdom for a forsaken sanctuary. Oh, geez, that's really good. We also get this guy, so we can go, like, crack for black, crack for blue. Have all our colors, assuming that we hit a white. Oh, Sinister Concoction. Really, you got a two for one yourself here. That's weird. What? That was very strange. Immediately killing a Dawn Trader Oak when I already have Traveler's Amulet on board to, like, do stuff with. Okay, you got D-Touch. You got D-Touch! So now we're just going to go get Planes because it lets us cast the most things. Let's get in there. I was like, can't attack or block, right? Okay, cool. Sure. That doesn't do anything here. Fact of the day, Japanese pro wrestling includes an inflatable sex doll as a character. He performs moves and sometimes wins fights. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. Just get out of here. There's no way, right? Four mana and they don't have creatures? Okay, well, we'll see what happens here. He gets in there. He does the deed. Now we'll play Plate. Now we'll play Gather. All right. I like how we looking. Oh. Al Snow used to have a mannequin head that he called his girl. I don't even think I know who Al Snow is. This is rough because now these guys are three threes because of this. And if we fight this, he has death touch. So it's kind of like, it's kind of awkward. I mean, we'll see if they want to take five here or block with their Zombone. Is this a drain or is it just a lose? No, it's we just lose. They don't get anything. I'm just gonna put on the spirit like it has menace well we could have put it on the other guy and just blocked with both then they kill the spirit though i guess yeah i mean that's good he was a, he was in the wwf canadian wrestler with a really weird character arc you know like you do oh they're not gonna show me i was like let me see let me see what they reveal i'm like they're not gonna reveal anything So if we block with both, we don't get anything. Yeah, I'll just take three here. That's not, that's not super compelling. Yeah, fight him. 
Yeah, Pilgrim. Now we have no cards left. But we can attack for six. That's pretty good. All right. Bunch of humans. God, Slayer's Plate is just unbelievable. It's like, plus four is insane. And it makes flying creatures for you to equip it to. Like, what is just a ridiculous card? Oh man, Stitched Mangler coming down. Coming in hot. Oh boy. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We're one shy of being able to cast this and equip. I actually think with this board position, equipping is a little more important. And they actually have to block one of the bigger creatures here, so. That's fine. So they're at three. Last fact. Oh, fact number day number two. Technically, it is illegal to swear in public in three Australian states unless you have a reasonable excuse to behave in such a manner oh wow they just play midnight scavengers with no with no hit oh that's desperation wow that's wild badger have you personally experienced this do you know the locations are they like are they like well-known places And last fact, residents of Alaska are the Americans most likely to search for alien-themed pornography. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> that's that's pretty wild. Um, I actually kind of like Fiend Hunter here because we can get rid of a zombie, basically. Does anybody remember the joke I made about the chiropractor? It was about a week back. <laughs> I feel like Bound by Moonsliver on their on their captain was pretty good. It was about a week back. I thought Arctic Avenger took off a little bit ago. That's wild, dude. <laughs> God. Oh Lord. This battle is in one minute. Unfortunately, we gotta. Actually, maybe we can do it. Hold on. Okay, we just submitted. We didn't actually sideboard anything. This hand looks pretty good, though. Villager into Hermit or Sanctifier. Oh, they went to six again. Jeez. Ooh, that's nice. As I handed my dad his 50th birthday card, he looked at me with tears in his eyes and said, You know, one word... One would have been enough. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> One would have been enough. God. Interesting. Oh, wow. This guy gets the blip. Oh, we just won the game. Good games. All right. <laughs> Solid match. Uh, everybody played hard. Okay. This, is, this, has, been, uh, this has been fairly thrilling. I'm thrilled, so. Man walks into a bar with a slab of asphalt in his arm and says, A beer, please. And one for the road. <sighs> so painful. I just. It's just. Oh, God.
Um, you know what? Again, I'll keep this. Any green is good, and we're on the draw. So... Oh, that's not a green. Okay. Well. Yep, pressure's on. Oh, that's a green. Oh, that's a green. This is two to equip. So if we hit a land, we can play Villager. But Lingering Souls. Lingering Souls actually would have been good here. But... I like a Hermit of... Oh, dang it. He did. Oh, I like that. Hmm. I can play Villager Primal Druid here. Did you hear about the guy who had his whole left side cut off? He's alright now. <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. You need to stop it! You guys are the worst. Oh, that, that's pretty good. We kind of have to get rid of this guy. If only I had a way to do that. T -t -t tomato M -m 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 My tomato we got one, we got six mana. We can play Lingering Souls for three. Equip this for two. Um. Sure, this is actually fine. Like, none of the cards, like, we care about dying to Skurzdag Flare, so. What? Do they know Champion doesn't get counters if they... Sure. <laughs> I lost one spirit there. Okay. here they could sack a human to kill our spirit that's fine this guy looks like he flies does not does not fly oh my god you guys have to you guys have to take it down Jesus God. Oh Lord. The Slayer of the White the Wicked is looking real weird against this deck, unfortunately. Spirit, human, 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 spirit. Interesting. So that's gonna be an O thirteen for the rest of the game, because it's already Why isn't a zombie plant? God. It's unsatisfying. Um, well. Play this one, two, three, four. Play a tomato. Put you on here. Thank you. If you want to trade with selfless spirit, that's fine. Oh, we didn't activate Tamio. We're terrible at this game. It's 
wow, that was really sad. Oh well, we'll take two. Tamio, just two creatures. This guy and and this guy, sure. <laughs> so whenever they deal deal combat damage in general, like it doesn't even have to be to a creature. Ideally, we draw a black source, <laughs> or this primal druid dies somehow. That would be cool. Oh, Badger with a gifted sub. I appreciate you, my dude. I'm just going to F6 here. We don't have any. This is a lot of things. Not one of them is going to be a Slayer of the Wicked target. I mean, Lumbernaut is just a better Unruly Mob, right? Unruly Mob is only when they control dies, and it also isn't hexproof and ours is when any creature dies and it is hexproof you know how you can show your appreciation i played this tamio huh fascinating zero three on here one one on here two one on two one so tamio takes four here Yeah, that's fine. And we get to draw like a million. That's pretty cool. No, oh, Somberwald. Somberwald gentleman is pretty good here. Oh boy. Um One, two, three, four, five. We can do everything, I guess. Tap this and like tap this guy down. No, we can't do that. <laughs> oh God. So they have three card types in their graveyard. Moreland Drifter might be the most scary card they have. Just because it gets flying. So then they have one, two, three, four, five attackers. We have one, two, three blockers. All right, this is still the best we can do here, unfortunately. gives vigilance hmm like that so they do get to just block we'll get to draw cards so that's pretty good oh gathers nice so we have three blockers we can block one two three tamio takes two we do lose a tamio but then we get to like eat their board if they don't have any shenanigans. 4-3 on champion. 7-6 on a rolling mob. Or if they make it play a guy, we can just primal druid to get our black. I actually feel like we're doing pretty okay here. Oh, we just win the game. 
yeah, uh, I guess Tamio and Lumbernaut is pretty pretty bonkers. Let's take out Slayer. Tooth Collector seems pretty decent. They have a ton of targets. Um, I could also just bring in Slayer. No, that's what I took out. I meant Fiend Hunter. I was looking at the wrong pile. I'm sorry for what I've created. Oh boy. Um... Just play 41. Real tempting. I think it's fine like this. We better draw Vault, and because I said that, Vault will be in our opening hand right now. You ready? Wow. I was wrong. This hand's pretty good, though. Collar into Druid into Equip Collar, or just play Hermit, and if we hit any blue, we get to play Tamio. Any blue, he says, when there is one blue in the deck. I will keep. Man, can you imagine if we draw an island in the next two turns? That would be such a little sweetie boy. I like this just says at the beginning of your upkeep you may transform it. Oh, if they transform we're getting a blue for sure. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Give it. Yeah, that's great. Wow, that's fantastic. Let's go Hermit and Pilgrim. Pilgrim is just like playing an amulet, but you can use the mana immediately, and it's a creature to put the collar on. You got a boon again? They always have it, but they're going to be like, let me attack first to see if they just block. No, I'm not blocking. I'm not blocking either of these things. Play your boon. Anguished Unmaking. That's fascinating. Um, so Tamiya goes up to five here, and we get to draw two cards. That actually seems good. This guy and this guy. So Tamio doesn't die here. And we still have Rebuke for Unholy Fiend. Yeah, we also have five lands to their three. Yeah, Tamio can go to one for sure. And we get to draw another card. Oh wow, this is yeah, we're just way ahead right now. Um Don't need blue, but we can hit a land drop by cracking this. We'll grab our swamp, play the swamp. I feel like it's just Shepherd keep up rebuke here. Just draw another card. Oh, you're gonna actually. Wow. Oh, we still get to draw the card though. Which is actually kind of fine. That's pretty good. 
three. So we can play Lamhole to Elder. We can't block anything. Tamio, is Tamio gonna die? Rebuke here, block here. Tamio can go to one. Hmm, two, three is frustrating. We've already drawn a ton of cards off Tamio. Plus we have Sanctifier for next turn. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. If we hit another white, we can sanctify her. I'm just going to keep rebuke up. <laughs> sure. I mean, with their limited mana, like I feel like that's actually fine. All three at Tamiyo. We're still going to get rid of this. One, two. Play land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can play both of these. That's actually pretty good. Lumber knot. Can this be our first trophy? That'd be pretty cool. Sure, Torturer, you got it. Sack Black Cat to make the discard Sanctifier. That seems worth it. Uh, this makes me sad though. Yep, <laughs> that's a good one. That is a good one. Yep, not going to play anything here. And we're going to flip our f favorite guys. Still keep up Vault of the Archangel. I think we're doing it. <laughs> well, they had two guys and a mana left over to tap with Burden. Hitting that Sanctifier was pretty rough. But now they only have two cards in hand, so the odds of them having another answer to Lamhole Teller is... Yeah, that's good. Not great, though. Like, we have 5-5 five, five Vigilance. Death Touch Lifelink. <laughs> Kill all the things. That's interesting. Huh. So we go and just use the Vault. So they'd probably just go two 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 right or two 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 three two 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 two, and then we give it death touch, and then our, our lumber knot would be humongous. Yeah, that seems totally fine. I'm just gonna always yield to that. <laughs> just really don't care. One one. Oh, fascinating. Sack it to that guy. Sure, I'm just gonna steal that guy.
the lumber not grows. Dude, lumber not is such a friggin' annoying card in this format. They have no cards in hand? Oh boy. And they're one away from casting another moan. Um, yeah, let's get in there with the uh the five five. We got it. I mean at the point where they triple block this, like they're just losing everything and oh we're just drawing a card here. That was a good one. <laughs> but it was not a good one, it was a bad one. We should probably use Vault there. But it doesn't really do much. What? Are you serious? That's fascinating if they played that though, because they could just keep up Vault and we have no profitable attacks. Fascinating. Two card types in the graveyard. Let's kill that dude. Wow, dual well, Vault of the Archangel is such an insane draw for them. Wow, and they have a two drop. Jeez. But they kinda have to tap this guy or just attack with it, and they can't activate Vault, right? So That's interesting. So let's go one, two. Equip here. Hmm, okay. Put you to one. Fascinating, that was just that was a play, all right. I mean, now they're forced to attack next turn. <laughs> Three mana. Again, keeps you off of Vault. Is it a board wipe? Is it like a three mana board wipe? Hmm. What? That's interesting. Why are you keeping up Vault? It literally keeps, it's single-handedly, you're at one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, you have five. I guess we have five, I guess we have four. Because you're going to tap one. <laughs> okay. Well, guess we're even. So you're tapping this guy, right? So we're just going to put the Avison's Collar. So you have one, two, three, four. All your guys have to, all your guys are dying. Because you have no cards and you have to like block everything here. Yep, you got to tap that guy. All my creatures are lethal, so you have to block all of them. This guy makes a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, this is insane. I mean, 
doesn't matter. They're all dead. We make a 1-1 one, one and like get 17 counters here. Yeah, seems good. Mm, your move. 25 to 1. <laughs> this is our board. 11-11. Mm. Trophy! Finally. Where's my res Where's my rewards? There they are. 250. It's only 150. 100 from the last one. Let's open this treasure chest. And while we're opening it, definitely check out manatraders.com if you are looking for a sweet subscription service for Magic Online. You can get 15% off the first three months with the link and promo code down below, which is Rat Train, Stoneforge, Masterwork, and 10 play points. That seems like a really sad little trophy case. You guys can also check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore. Uh, you get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one month free. So definitely check them out if you're looking for a VPN, which you should be because it's 2020 and you guys really need to be more secure about your browsing habits. It'll block your 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 VP, your, I, your IP address. I was like, you're gonna block your VPN. No, it is a VPN. It'll let you unlock region locked content on things like Hulu or Netflix. And uh, yeah, definitely check it out. It's a great way to support the channel. They're a great sponsor of the stream right now. And uh, they're right on the screen right there. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.